All right, folks, it's time for another weekly update here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. Let's start with charging. Next week, we're gonna do a live demo of our charging technology. That'll be the handle, the cable systems. We're gonna discharge that into a load so you can see how much energy is actually being put out through that particular system. It's also a demonstration of connectivity and software and that charging solution. We've got a controller, cloud connected, and we can actually communicate and control that charging system from a cloud uh, solution. That's a pinnacle sort of foundational piece for us as we look to the future of Atlas and building out infrastructure. Within the vehicle over the last couple of weeks, we hit some big milestones in terms of cell balancing. So Atlas is currently the only company in the world that is doing active cell balancing in our particular vehicle solutions in our battery packs. We take energy from one, put it into another one. We've continued testing that. We're doing it at high current rates. Huge milestone here for Atlas. That means that balancing system is working. We've also got the in-vehicle automotive ethernet connectivity network up and running. No CAN, no legacy communication systems here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. That is that basically high speed data connectivity from essentially the ground all the way up to the cloud. We've got a lot of that network, that basic infrastructure working within the vehicle. Now it's just building applications on top of that. And then here in the dry room, we've got the automated stamping machine behind us. Earlier this week, we started building bricks of Z-fold stacked anode and cathodes, 360 layers thick that go in our AMV cells. That means we're transitioning from manual builds to more automated builds. That's gonna allow us to increase throughput, decrease cost, increase the amount of, uh, sorry, decrease the amount of failures and faults that we get with cells, reduce our cost from a build perspective. Lots of big milestones here at Atlas and look for some continued updates over the next couple of weeks.